Hey guys, Vemkin117 here. Today we're going to be playing a brand new game. Uh, this is one of the games that I've just found randomly while searching around the internet. It's called Anonymous Messages. It's a slenderish type game. With a heartbeat monitor. There's a replay last message thing. Oh god. If wealth is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, nothing is lost. If mind is lost, Everything has lost. Wait. Oh god. So apparently we've got to find the anonymous messages while trying to escape the monsters. So essentially it's a Unity game. I mean, you know. Wow, that's harsh. Oh, I see. The trees can get you as well. Okay. I don't know what my heart rate's meant to be at. But, uh... <clears throat> I'm assuming I don't want to, like, get caught by monsters. That might be bad. Okay, this is uh, shaping up to be uh, a pretty interesting game. I've got no backstory on it because it's just a game that I randomly found. That has some fucking range to it. <laughs> Alright, so something about you've made people hate you. So I'm guessing this might be the character I've created. Or I've created, the character I'm playing as. That's something to do with he created a machine, I guess, and it made people hate him. Uh, he's asking why he did it. Dear God. I don't know if my heart rate goes back down or not as well. Like, the trees just pop up in front of you. Out of it. They're just popping up all over the place. They must get. I guess they get more furious uh, as you collect. God, more of the things. It must be a lot like Slender in that way. I guess you could call this a Slender ripoff in a way, except it's a bit more uh, engaging. I don't know if I'm meant to collect them in a certain order, I'm guessing not. And they're probably all in the same places. This game doesn't look uh, very complex. It doesn't look like it has this, like uh, a massive backstory like Slender or a creepy pasta behind it. I think this is just a game somebody created in their spare time for people to mess around with really. Well, they're just big assholes then, aren't they? Shut the fuck up. So I guess the monsters are just trees? I don't know if the trees can move. They get more vivacious as time goes by though. Like for example, that one has more range than the other ones. Dear God. God! Fuck you. They can move. Okay, this is going to make it significantly harder to play. Get out of here. There's no way to stop yourself from getting hit though, that's the thing. Okay, let's try it again. This game does look interesting, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's very, it's kind of creepy. My main problem with it would have to be... Oh, I see. If I stopped my heart rate, go down. No, it does not. I guess you just have to go as quickly as you can. Ah, okay, okay. It's like hearing the voice calms him down. 
you've got to find the tapes in order to stop him from having a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> I don't know how much sanity, I guess you could call it sanity, it restores. It's a little bit like amnesia, in that way. In the way that shit seems to have like a sanity mechanic. It's definitely very much like slender. This fucking game's gonna give me a heart attack. Here we go. Right, we got four now. You're just being mean. You're a poopy head. Fuck off. I honestly have no idea legitimately where I've got to go because it doesn't give you much direction, unfortunately. This is a good game in many ways, but it's lacking in others. Not really any direction. You've just got to find the fucking things. Uh, and there's no, like, not really that many landmarks. We've got one more to get. Keep our eyes peeled. Ah! Okay, you got me. I gotta give the creator of the game that one. He got me. It was cheap. But he got me. This game is decidedly cheap. Ironic since it's free. <laughs> I guess every couple of seconds it uh, moves up another beat. But I mean, honestly, there's not much you can do. Uh, get lost. Uh, I've only got one more to go. Come on. I can't fail again when I've got five. It's going to be fucking slender all over again. Get out of it. Ah! I've been tensed up since the first time I happened, sort of waiting for it though, so. Well, it was just normal tree for a second there, so I walked towards it like a dumbass. Oh! Yeah! We did it! Oh. To be continue. Well, that was an interesting game to say the least. Uh, I don't know what to say, really. Uh, just sitting here skipping through stuff. No. Okay. Uh, well, that was an interesting game. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to have to like adjust the audio volume, though, because holy shit, I think I had my mic too close to my mouth. That was, um, so if it's a little bit stored, sorry about that. It was an interesting game. Uh... I'd, I'd say it's a, it's a very basic game. I'll leave a link to it in the description. <coughs> I'd say it's fun. For, it's fun for a jump scare or two. But uh, I'm sorry, it's a very short game. Obviously, it only took me nine minutes to complete it. And um, yeah, but it's it's a good game. I definitely recommend at least giving it a look. It's got a couple of good mechanics to it. It's very slenderish, only easier and not quite as scary. Uh, but obviously, I've got used to slender at this point, and I'm not used to uh, not used to. Anonymous messages, so uh, Yeah, it's definitely a game to check out if you're up for uh, a quick jump scare. I'd definitely give it. I'd definitely recommend it. So Have a look at it. I mean, it's uh, it's it's pretty fun But that's where I cut the episode guys. So if you enjoyed, please, you know, just beat the living shit out of that like button and uh, Leave a comment leave some feedback. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next video Thank you for signing out. See you later hunters
That's a fucking good answer to the rules. This llama is more plentiful, that's one that's using it. I mean, outside. It's not like llama's more plentiful, that's one that's using it.